Welcome to my lecture online. Have you ever wondered how many galaxies there are in the universe? And what is a galaxy to begin with? Well, that way we can put things into perspective. Well, with the Hubble Space Telescope, some years back, they took what we call the extreme deep field picture. They want to take a picture as far away as they possibly could into the universe. Of course, the problem is that when you look in all different directions, there's many galaxies blocking the way to the galaxies behind them. So you want to look somewhere where there's not many galaxies nearby. So what we did was we took a picture, actually about 2,000 pictures, and assembled them all together with the Hubble Space Telescope, and we looked in the direction of the Fornax constellation, because in that direction, we're kind of looking perpendicular to the plane of the galaxy, and so we don't get too many things in the way in our own galaxy to begin with, and there's not too many galaxies nearby in that direction to block our view. The result was this picture right here. This picture contains 5,500 galaxies. They counted them, and that's how many there were. Now, how big was that picture? Well, compared to the full moon right here, this is about the patch that was covered in the sky. So, you can see it's a very tiny portion of the full moon, a very tiny portion of the sky. About 2.4, actually a little bit less than 2.4 arc minutes in side. The length of each side was less than 2.4 arc uh, minutes, which means that we had 0 0.0015 square degrees coverage in that little patch. Now when we look at the entire sky, the entire sky, well, you would need about 27.5 million patches like that to cover the entire sky. So if you take 27.5 million patches, and assuming that each one of them would have about 5,500 galaxies in them, if you then multiply this number of patches, this number of pictures required, times this many galaxies in each picture, you end up with 150 billion galaxies. Wow. And how big is a galaxy? Well, the one that we live in, the Milky Way galaxy, contains about a quarter of a trillion stars. And it's about 100,000 light years across. In other words, with the speed of light, it will take 100,000 years to travel from one end to the other end of the galaxy. 100,000 years. Can you imagine how long a single day is? That's 86,400 seconds. And in each second, light covers about 300,000 kilometers or 186,000 miles. Just imagine how far light can travel in a single day. And then imagine how long it would take or how far light can travel in a period of 100,000 years. And that would be enough time for light to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other end of the galaxy. And it turns out there are at least 150 billion galaxies in our universe. And that's just in the visible part of the universe. There may be more beyond the visible part, further than we can even see because light hasn't had a chance to reach us yet. The universe is approximately about 13.7 billion years old, and the farthest galaxies that we could see in the extreme deep field picture were about 13.2 billion light years away. So that goes to pretty close to the beginning of the universe, and so we're seeing some very old galaxies far away as well as some newer ones closer by. But over 150 billion galaxies, and that's at least that many. Of course, that took a long time to take that picture. It's composed of about 2,000 images. Total exposure time, 25 days, because those galaxies are so far away that unless you leave the lens open for many, many hours at a time for each picture, you don't get the light bright enough that you can even see it on the, on the, uh, on the picture. So, you can imagine 150 billion galaxies, each one of them huge in its own way, throughout the entire universe. So if you ever wondered, here's the answer, and this is how they figured it out.